assuming that Nick is not available, would you intend to start the same lineup you did yes. the other day? Yeah. 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 Did I hold off on that till last minute? No, I do not. Okay. No, we're good. <laughs> and, and you, you know, you were talking a lot the other day about about how Miami's length was was bothering you. Do you feel like you found some reasonable countermeasure in the way in the way you went the other day? Oh, I, I mean. I think it definitely helped. I mean, look, it's a, it gets back to the same thing, though, is the biggest adjustment last night was we were down 2-0, and we did we played with much more detail, much more intensity, and much more purpose. That's the biggest adjustment. And I'm sure if you ask them, they didn't feel like they played as well. You know, I mean, that's all part of it, too. So, you know, playing bigger, I think, helped. Although, if you look at it, we didn't rebound the ball nearly as well as we did in game two. And our defense was a lot better and our offense wasn't nearly as good. So. Steve, do you, do you have an explanation for on the road why it's so different for some teams? I mean, your team has been so different on the road. Miami, the same At, way. Second actually, I'll season. say this. If you really watched our team all season, we were different on the road early. Okay. But since uh, like the third week of January, we've been really good on the road. But in general, I mean, we see teams that just look different on the road, even not just in playoffs, but during the season. Miami has struggled oh. to that. Obviously, there's no definitive advantage like in other sports. You don't bat last. You don't get the last line change. Why in the NBA do we still see it so pronounced that on the road is more of a struggle? Well, familiarity with the arena, fans, uh, you know, you're out of your routine. You know, you're playing out of a hotel, the travel. Uh, and then I would say the other thing is that, uh, you know, all the, when you, you know, like the back-to-backs and, you know, everything like that. That's a sad category all season. Uh, when you're building that, how much is it identifying certain guys that are good at that or versus the thing you're doing here with them? Definitely what you said first. It, it, to me, it comes down to just the guys you have on your team, you know. Um, I think that, uh, you can, you're not gonna change the basic decision nature, decision, decision making nature of any player. You watch Nick play. When that ball's coming to him, he knows what should happen before he catches the ball. That's not something that any coach ever teaches any player. Some guys can't do that. You know, you can you can get a guy to play more conservatively so he doesn't turn it over. Um, but the guys that in this league to be really good is you know, it's uh, when that ball's coming to him. When you're open, you shoot. When you're not, you pass it and cut, right? Or you drive it if there's a gap. And as a coach, you don't teach that. That's what you said. That's the basic nature of how guys play. Steve, what do you want to see out of Nick in the next 30 hours or so to make you feel confident that he would be ready to go? Like, what do you need to see out of him? Nick? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, done, he's been in here nonstop for, you know, uh, I mean, his the swelling's down a lot. I just think, I, I don't know if they feel very confident that it'd be enough time for him to play. You know, it's not definite, but I mean, he's going back down now. He's doing everything he, he badly wants to play. I just don't know if it'll be enough time. Coach, like most of the guys, the way Frank handled his opportunities for the game. Oh, the no, I thought the best thing Frank did yesterday was um, he didn't get off to a great start early, and he didn't let it bother him. You know, he didn't let it bother him. He still played with confidence. He still played his game, you know. His defense got better. He got more into the defense. Um, but it was his whole, to me, demeanor approach uh, that allowed him to play so well in the second half. I just saw Jeremy as chief coach. Is everyone all right with him? Yeah, you know what we did today is, uh, I mean, we just literally, they did some individual stuff, and literally everything was just on film, you know. Um, with only one day between games, and we got guys that played big minutes. Then, um, you know, some guys are lifting, some guys are doing stuff with the trainer. Uh, but we're going to do our work tomorrow morning. We do that a lot during the season too. You expect that the guys can maintain some of that two old desperation, you know, those two one over line. We try to grab some. Uh, of I think up. that's the whole key to a playoff series. Is uh, like I saw Eric Scott and this Drew is you got to learn and play better. So um, everything, every game always starts with that. Your approach, your, your attitude, your intensity. And um, teams are going to win the playoffs, are going to be able to sustain it or have it amp up every game.